Hi, today we'll be going over how to upload and download programs from the Parker 6K controllers. By the end of the session, you'll be able to use Motion Planner software to upload the motion programs and download into a new controller. I'll also show some of the basic commands to check the controller status. You'll need the controller powered on. The 6K requires 24 volts for control power for communication. We offer the PS60W power supply. You'll need a serial crossover cable, which is a null modem. Our part number is 71-16939-10 and is a CE rated cable, a PC with motion planner software. It's a free download from our website, and I'll come back to that in a minute. For PCs without a 9-pin COM port, you'll need a USB to RS-232 adapter. We recommend using the Cables Unlimited USB 2920 adapter. This has the FTDI chipset and works with all of our products on both Windows XP and Windows 7. It's available at Amazon.com. Not all USB serial adapters work the same. If you aren't using one with the FTDI chipset, it may or may not work. Note, the prolific chipset does not work on Windows 7. It does work on XP. You do not need the drives or motors to be connected to upload and download. Motion Planner 4.3.2 is a free download. Go to our website www.parkermotion.com. On the top right hand corner, click on Support and Downloads, then Download Product Software. Select Motion Planner. Click the checkbox and Submit. You'll need to register if you haven't downloaded before. After registering, you'll be at the download page. The 6K should be powered on with 24 volts with the serial cable connected to your PC through your USB adapter if your PC doesn't have a 9-pin COM port. The 6K has two serial ports. The right port is RS-232 or RS-45 based on DIP switches internal to the 6K. New 6K controllers ship from the factory set for RS-232. The left port is labeled RS-232. Either should work, but if you're not sure of the dip switch settings for the right port, then connect using the RS-232 port on the left. If the Ethernet is connected, unplug it. The RS-232 port is not active when the Ethernet port is active. Go ahead and start Motion Planner software. When you first open Motion Planner, you'll have the default communication settings window. Here you can see the 6K controllers. The 6K2 is a 2-axis controller, the 6K4 is a 4-axis controller, there's also the 6 and the 8, 4, 6, and 8 axes. Motion Planner is also used with uh, Gemini and Gem 6K drives, those will be covered in separate videos. Click on the Port tab, and you can see the COM port setting. The 6K also has Ethernet communication, that will be covered in a separate video. Select the COM port for your PC. First, verify the COM port on your PC. Let's take a look at how to do this in Windows. To confirm your COM number, go into your Start menu and then go into your Control Panel. Go into Device Manager and under Ports you should see the COM number. The USB adapters sometimes do not come up as COM1, so you can take a look at those. If you double click on there or right click and go on to Properties, you can see the manufacturer which displays the chipset that's in there. If you click on the port, port settings tab that will allow you to see the communications. Those are already set when um, motion planner software is being used so you do not need to ch change the baud rate settings or the number of data bits or stop bits from here. Those are already configured when you open up motion planner. Then if you click on the advanced tab you can actually change the port number, uh, the, the COM number. Sometimes though when you do that you will have to restart your computer. Okay so from the control panel of the device manager we've confirmed the COM port number for our PC so go ahead and select that and press OK. So in motion planner you'll see the wizard tab come up first. We'll just go ahead and go into file, new, and program editor press OK and this will open up a new program editor tab in the toolbar click on new terminal and first we want to verify we're actually talking to the 6k when you first walk up to it it might be running a program so you 
hold the control key and press K and that will kill the program from running. Typically I do that three times just to verify. Then make sure you're getting a response. Type TREV, T-R-E-V, and press enter. Um, this tells you it's a 6K that you're talking to and this is the firmware version. Then go over to the editor tab and then you can do a upload editor it's just going to warn you that it's going to overwrite what's inside the editor so go ahead and press OK. You can see the list of programs if you want to uh, select all the programs select the first one and then you hold the shift key and select the last one alternatively you can select multiple programs by holding the control key. I'm going to go ahead and press uh, OK and select all of them will upload all of them here into the program editor so now the other item go into back into the terminal window there are certain things that are not uploaded when you retrieve the programs type SCLD and press enter you can see the scaling is set to 1 for the distance for all four axes type SCLV for the velocity you can set that see that set to 4000. SCLA is the scaling for the acceleration and then scale has been set to 1. Now if you type start P that's also the um, power up program that runs automatically. So go back into the editor, go to the very top, press enter a couple times, type SCLD one comma one comma one comma one and I'm just going to cop copy these over from the terminal window these you can set in the terminal window on a new 6K by typing them into the terminal window um, because these are set before the first delete and define it's just like you're typing them into the terminal window but when you do a save it'll be stored within the program then go to the very bottom type start P main so the delete and the define deletes each program and then redefines it until the end and then it um, defines, deletes and defines the next program. So the start P has to be at the very end. The programs have to be defined before the start P. Go into file and save. You can name it anything you want. So now you've saved the program. If you then power down and then connect your new 6K controller, go in the terminal window. You want to verify you're talking first before you start doing any downloads. You can type TREV, verify that you're getting a response. On the, on the program editor screen, go back. You can go into communications download editor or on the left hand side you'll see the icon for download editor. It'll go ahead and, and with the default send a kill to all, any tasks that are running. So go ahead and press OK then you'll see the status bar as the program is being transmitted to the 6K. So then if you go back into the terminal window, oh, this is normal. The TCMDER is the command error. So this is saying that there's nothing there to delete since this is a brand new 6K. There are no programs defined, so there's nothing to delete. So that's normal. You can just press OK in the terminal window if you want to then verify the programs are there you can type TDIR transfer directory and you can see the setup main sample and crash are all defined within the 6k and then if you want to verify the scaling parameters you can type scale without any argument behind it you can see that it has been set to 1 and set SELD and SELV and SELA, you can see those all match. And then if you type start P without the argument, you can see it is set to main.
Other commands to check on the 6K, when you first walk up to the machine, it could be running a program, so typically you need to do an exclamation point. So if you do an exclamation, T-E-R-F is the tell error report. Those are 32 bits, so it'll tell you what's going on with the 6K if there's a fault at that particular point in time. If you do an exclamation, T-A-S-F is transmit access status. The F is a full text report, so you don't have to look up all these bits um, to see that the first bit is the moving bit, so that tells you if any of the axes are currently moving. And then uh, exclamation T-A-S-X-F is the extended axis status. That gives you your, a few bits more of information if you're getting a specific fault. This presentation showed how to use Motion Planner to upload from a 6K and download into a new 6K and some of the basic commands to use in the terminal emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at emn underscore support at parker.com. Thanks again.